Alrighty guys, so today is Labor Day. Um, just asking, like, I'm pretty sure hopefully everybody's Labor Day went good today. Um, so I told you guys yesterday, Sunday, that I would hit you guys up with uh, with a nice uh, with a nice little challenge. I was thinking, I've been working the whole day. I was like, oh, well, working on Forza on a car that you know it like if is it possible to do like a burnout for a mouse three so as you can see we were by the airport come on man i hate these computers man i just really don't like them um we're by an airport and well the airport in this game is actually a mile long so i was thinking what about getting a car that can do a burnout for a mile long is it possible to do a burnout for a mile long traveling at speeds over 50 miles per hour so not just your adequate old burnout and do like 10 mile per hour burnout down the whole strip taking like five minutes no no, no. at least 50 miles per hour and i was thinking okay let's do it so i'm gonna show you guys in comparison this is what a dodge viper it is completely stock and it produces 640 horsepower and 600 foot pounds of torque plus if you want to add to it it's raining so it should be able to do a burnout with no problem right because yeah you can go you can go as far as you can like that even if you upgrade the car i doubt it they'll be able to get this car to go more than 50 miles an hour doing a burnout all the way to the end but as in retrospect, this car has 600 foot, um, 600 um, foot pounds of torque. So I was thinking, what about getting another car that has around that same power, but I can do the holster. So, and you guys are gonna be like pretty amazed because you would never think, oh, you think burnouts are usually like for you know muscle cars. They're able to do it much better than Japanese or Italian or German cars on average because I mean muscle cars are make more torque on average. Than all those other cars because those are mostly like high revving motors and these are like you know mid-range motors so you know they produce a lot of torque and they pretty much mass match their horsepower as well but here i'm gonna give it a go and as you can see it's pretty much like a failure like it can't even go and that's that it's raining so there's something it's going at about 20 miles an hour okay so as you see it can't hold it this car that I'm gonna show you guys is just one hell of a car so from a standstill let's see how far we can get though so it's not bad but this is a Viper um, the car I'm gonna show you guys might amaze you guys since today is uh, you know an American holiday I was thinking why don't I just you know like paint the car like some crazy colors which you guys see this and you're gonna be like no way it would have never been a car like that you know so one mile burnout down the whole airport it's exactly a mile all the way to where the cameras flash to get your trap speed and this specific car right here is gonna be the one I'm working on a Ferrari 458 Italia oh yeah and it's definitely the American flag colors as you'll see right now we have like a blue going on with the red rims and the white mirrors yeah who would have thought that I would have pulled out an Italian sports car that doesn't produce that much torque because max power and this is the stock motor it only produces a little bit more torque than that Viper that's completely stock so it's, I find it kind of amazing that I was able to get this car to do such a burnout. And I'm so willing to show you guys this. This is crazy. I was like, I gotta bring something good for these guys. These guys are always coming back. For sure, here it is, yo. This is the video I got for you guys. I was thinking of them as well. What else? What else can I show them right here? This is pretty much like this car will do the burnout on the whole strip that that it's raining it's gonna make it even easier
easier but this car could do it like dry and I think it's kind of getting drier actually but look from right here from this line all the way to the where the cameras flash all right traveling at speeds of over 50 miles an hour So there it is 50 51 52 and we're still doing a burnout this is this car is just insane with lack of torque for real and it's able to do it with no problem that's one whole burnout I would love to like have like a camera like filming down the whole road but it, I can't even keep it steady because at this speed it just like wants to go everywhere but look at that we're about to do almost 60 miles per hour I'm definitely giving you guys a challenge to see what you guys can do if you guys think this is amazing let me know you know this is the type of challenge I wanted to give you guys and you know for the heck of it I'm gonna go past it. I'm gonna go all the way to the other white lines I'm gonna pass this and I'm doing it in six gear and remember this is a car with no torque so yeah it's pretty amazing how I was able to actually like go completely down the whole strip now let's go back for fun and let's see how far the burnout will go as you saw I left smoke look at that now that is what you call burnout now that would have been like on 420 that would have been funny holy moly look at the size of that burnout this the whole the whole airstrip that's just insane oh my god no way oh I stopped right there but but man if you go if you go if you go back on that video prompts me I was doing a burnout the whole way down as you saw but yeah like it's insane this car Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna write my name on the floor. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This car is able to like spin second gear and do a burnout. And if you guys don't believe me, you guys think it was like the tires just locking up. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna let go of the brakes at 60 miles an hour and six gear and watch how it's gonna be doing a burnout. There it is, look. There it is. That's still a burnout. It's hard to keep the car straight at that speed. But I just want to make sure you guys know that I'm not cheating you guys out. Like, holding the brakes. I am holding the brakes to continue the, the rev line. Obviously, if not, but it's not it's not the tires locking up from the front doing the smoke. It's actually the back ones. Because, look, like, there it is. But of course at this speed I doubt it will be able to keep a burnout. But at around 50, 60, no problem. You stomp on the brake and the gas and this car will do a burnout the whole strip. I might even come back with you guys to let you know if I've done anything even crazier on another video. But yeah guys, definitely go check this car out and if you want message me so maybe we can chill out and I can show you guys some crazy stuff um, as well write your gamer tags below if you guys are down for cruises comment below anything you want to comment like those videos because I'll be so much help you know that also let me know what I'm doing for you guys is like you know what you guys want to see plus subscribe to stay updated with these videos all right guys I'll definitely see you guys in the next one happy labor day um that's pretty much it i mean this is a 458 blue white and red all right guys i'm out